well wishers and welcome to my channel aspiring minds in today's video we are going to decode the meaning of where the mind is without fear a famous poem by rabindranath tagore the poet laureate so grab your virtual seats and let's begin To understand the poem where the mind is without fear by Ramirina Tagore better, it is important that you know a little bit about the poem and its background. Now, this poem, do you know, it was originally written in the language Bengali, and it was later translated into English by Tagore himself. The poem was composed during a period where India was still under the British colonial rule, and the nation was constantly fighting for independence. And our poem that we will be reading today captures this hope and dream of a nation, India, trying to get freedom from oppression, from the harsh, cruel shackles of the British rule. The main reason why Rabindranath Tagore composed or wrote this poem was he wanted to spread the message through this poem of a vision, of a dream, of a hope he had of an ideal India and what would his India be like? It would be free from fear and narrow mindset of people. It was requesting to have a society where there would be knowledge that is available and accessible by all, where people are united instead of being divided by domestic walls, where truth, reason and logic are there rampantly instead of people being ignorant and lazy and where all the individuals are constantly working to improve themselves and ultimately the poem appeals to a higher power that is maybe he is trying to seek inspiration to have this kind of a nation built by God. Now you will see one common thing that Tagore is doing in his poem is he is beginning almost many sentences in the poem with the word where. We will see what exactly that means but now let's begin with the detailed line by line analysis of the poem. Where the mind is without fear and the head is held high. So the poem begins by describing an ideal India where minds of people would be free from any kind of fear and this would allow them to hold their heads up high with confidence and pride. This sets the tone for the vision of a fearless and an independent society where knowledge is free. Now in this ideal world, he is wanting knowledge to be accessible to each and every person implying that he wanted a society where education would not be restricted by the class or privilege of people but education would be something that would be free for all. This emphasizes the importance of education which would then lead to progress. Next, where the world has not been broken up into fragments by narrow domestic walls. Now here Tagore is feeling sad, he is lamenting that India today is divided. There is a partition that exists within the society. This division could be there due to class of people, religion and nationality. Now Tagore is envisioning, he is wanting a world where all these diverse cultures, religion, everything can assimilate and be united as one global community. Next, Tagore is saying through this poem that in this ideal society, he wants communication to be absolutely honest and sincere. People should speak the truth from the depth of their heart with absolute integrity, respect for one another. There should be no kind of disloyalty or dishonesty or jealousy of any kind where tireless striving stretches its arms towards perfection. So Tagore is emphasizing the importance of constant efforts and continuous 
self improvement that he expects individuals to do and as they do this the society will gradually start striving or moving towards perfection where the clear stream of reason has not lost its way into the dreary desert sand of dead habit that is in this line he is highlighting the necessity or the importance of being able to think logically with absolute reason and avoiding any kind of unthinkable mindless traditional habits or routines there was at that time a lot of prejudice a lot of superstition that was there in the minds of people that is there even today in many parts of india so tagore is wanting people to think logically if a cat crosses your road people generally they stop their vehicle or they wait for another person to pass because they find it as a sign of bad luck now not realizing it is just an animal which is crossing the road so superstitions of this kind still exist in many parts of india and tagore was hinting at exactly this telling to think logically and rationally let me know in the comment section below what are the other types of superstitions that you know of that are prevalent in india finally tagore says when the mind is led forward by the into ever widening thought and action so the poet over here seeks guidance from a higher power that is why he is mentioning the word the to be able to be led by his mind towards a broader wider thinking which will lead to progress this suggests that spirituality and enlightenment should drive human endeavors instead of being superstitious he is wanting the readers to turn towards spirituality to seek the help of god next we have the most famous lines over here at the end into that heaven of freedom my father let my country awake mind you father over here f is capital he is directly seeking help from god the poem concludes with a prayer for india to awaken the citizens and individuals residing in india so that they can attain this state of freedom where individuals are free from any kind of fear they are not ignorant and where the nation is able to progress and prosper as a united and entitled enlightened entity let us now have a look at the important themes for a better understanding of the poem where the mind is without fear the six main ideas are going to be discussed now first being freedom and independence the poet is wanting to seek independence because at the time when the poem was written india was still under the british rule next is unity and inclusivity because the poet is seeing that the condition of india was that it was restricted because of the narrow domestic walls and it is wanting the citizens to break away from these barriers we also saw how the poem highlights the role and importance of free education and knowledge for all next spirituality and guidance the poem incorporates or includes the elements of spirituality because we saw towards the end how the poet was seeking inspiration from god to give direction to a world which was driven by superstition and lead it towards the path of spirituality through this poem tagore calls for a constant effort that has to be put in by the individuals for constant self improvement to be able to achieve a better society throughout the poem there is a strong sense of hope and aspiration for a better future compared to the present state that india was in when it was under the colonization of the british rule So that's it from this video. I hope you liked it. Do hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel for more such future updates. Thank you for watching. Bye.